Oh my goodness, there's a spider on my ceiling. Hey guys, it's Sarah and it is New Year's Eve, New Year's week, something. We're starting a new year, so we're going to do a video about it. Now, this one I didn't write a script for because A, I procrastinated so hard on this video, and B, because, uh, you know, I kind of want this one to be genuine. Future me is going to look back on this video and be like, yeah, younger Sarah, you go, younger Sarah. Or she could look back on it and go, oh, Sarah, stop. Which is basically how I view myself a lot. Which is what I want to talk to you about. So there we go. Recently I've been getting a lot of questions about what my New Year's resolution is going to be. Which is, you know, to be expected. We've reached that point in the year where it's acceptable to ask that question. I can get behind New Year's resolutions. I can get behind that clean slate feeling. You know the one. It's like nice and fresh. Like, yeah, one day at a time. Can I do it? Can I get it taken care of? But you know, I didn't think I was going to do one this year. Because I kind of, I don't know, I didn't really have one in mind. Like last year, I definitely wanted to start a video blog. So I started one and it was great. This year I'm kind of like, eh, whatever, don't really have a resolution, I'm just going to kind of keep working on a video blog thing, kind of work on other stuff, maybe write a little bit over here, maybe jump some, maybe I'll skydive, who knows? I'm a big believer in the idea of life catching the unexpected and therefore trying not to plan for life at all. It's not my greatest of strategies, but it is my only strategy which is probably part of the problem. Anyways, I am going to do one this year. I thought about it at work, and I am going to actually do one this year. And uh, I, thought I'd, I thought I'd make a video about it so the future me can look back and kind of acknowledge that this is something that she really wanted to do at some point. I was at work today. I'm, I'm a bookshelver at a library. So I work in a library. I shelve all the books, which is not a job that you think people actually have to do until you actually have to do it. We have a back room where all our books get checked in, and we put them on hold for all of you, and we put it on your special shelf. But before they can go on the shelves or get checked out again, they have to go through this little teeny tiny back room. But I'm in this back room a lot. Like, I spend a worrying amount of time in this back room. And so do a lot of other people. A lot of people run in, run out, catch a book, grab one, and one person wants here, and somebody else wants a CD, and so we give it to them and do all that stuff. And so, you know, it can be kind of tough to get around sometimes. But in order to get around people, I say, here's what I say exactly. I'm going to squeeze by you real quick. I don't know why I say that. It might be because somebody in my family says it, and I don't know, and I just kind of started saying it, but we're not here to talk about my weird use of words. We're here to talk about my resolution for the year. So after I said that about five times tonight, I kind of came to the realization that I say it a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, so much that it could probably be the most used phrase in my vocabulary. Trying to find a seat on the bus? Well, I'm going to squeeze right by it for a second. Trying to get in line at the grocery store? Well, I'm going to squeeze right by it for just a second. And I came to the realization about how stupid this is. How am I going to squeeze right by you? I mean, I know technically squeezing by can be in a tight space, but I've always kind of thought of it as actually making myself smaller, as if I'm condensing my body to get by this person. I've always thought of it as actually making myself physically smaller to get by these people that are in my way, which is, you know, a problem because I shouldn't have to be any smaller. I should just be able to say, excuse me, and then walk by these people without a problem. So I did a little, I did a little research. I guess you could call it research. It wasn't really research, I did a little Google search and I got some things about psychology in it and blah blah blah, whatever. I don't even know if any of this is accurate, but I did read some articles that said that there are people who view themselves as taking up a lot of space and people who view themselves as taking up a little space. And I'm pretty sure that I have always seen myself as somebody who wants to like crumple up into a little ball and take up this little space as humanly possible. And that bugs me. I do not like that I view myself as a small person. Because I am not a small person. I am quite a shy person, and I happen to be an introvert, but uh, I am not a small person, and neither is anybody else for that matter. So I think I'm going to make a resolution this year and try not to uh, squeeze by people so much. I'm just going to x nay on the squeezing. I'm going to walk onto a bus, and I'm going to take a seat, because that's what you do on a bus. I'm going to go into a grocery store, and I'm actually going to get in line, because that's what you do in a grocery store. I'm not doing abnormal things. These are normal things that normal people do all the time. I just feel like I'm not supposed to be doing that. But Sarah, that's rude, says nobody except for the little voice in my head. Well, you know what, little voice? I'm not talking about walking into little old ladies and shoving them over because you feel like you gotta be a bigger person. You still gotta be a decent person. That's like an ongoing resolution. That just shouldn't happen in the new year. You should constantly attempt to be less of a jerk. I am just thinking that I need to also start being less of a jerk to myself as well as other people. Do you feel me? Is that something that we feel? So yeah, I just wanted to say that. I wanted to declare my resolution 
and uh, see if I get anywhere with it. That's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your New Year's resolutions down in the comments below. Make sure you catch Marie on Wednesday and you're gonna see me next Monday. Leave your New Year's resolutions a little bit. What the hell is a resolution? I don't know. <laughs>